Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So it looks like we are 5 EXP away to getting to 297. So we will do a live attack rate with the current troops that we have in our army camp, which I've prepared 240 barbarians. And in my spell factory, I've uh, prepared the same usual spells that I usually bring. So uh, before we begin, for those of you guys who have not watched the video of my crazy marching barbarians, I'll put a link in the description below. Do check it out. It's a really awesome video whereby I use a mass barbarians to attack in clan war and scoring a 2 star against a town hall 9. Um, yeah, so we will proceed into searching for a raid right now. So the very first base that appears, we will just go ahead and attack it. Oh, a Batman base, my favorite. Uh, not exactly my favorite base to attack, but my favorite base to see. So, okay, King Queen in the middle, both Infernos are set to multi, um, CC over there, so I think we can start to lure the CC out first. Let's try and see whether it works. And yeah, the CC has just came out with balloons and minions, okay, this is going to be really, really ridiculous, as <laughs> it's all air troops that's all in the CC, so we will see what we can do about it to handle this particular attack. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like a giant bomb in between the Inferno and the DE drill over there. So we have to be really really careful about that. So slowly by uh, inch by inch luring out the balloons together with the minions. Hopefully I can use my AQ which is the only one that could attack air to attack the minions and balloons to take them out. Otherwise my barbarians will just die out really really quickly. So we will see as how it goes. I'll just slowly lure them out. Hopefully I don't... Uh, screw this rate up as this is really really interesting to attack with air troops and in the CC and me having only barbarians we will see we will see so okay what I can do is I will drop a lightning spell first to take out the minions as the minions are really irritating so okay minions taken out so I think what I will do is I'll drop some barbarians first and dropping my queen so that she will take out the balloons so we will do a sweep of more barbarians going all the way in using all three fingers um, hopefully I'll just conserve a little bit more maybe later I might need to use some more so looking at where my king and queen are going they are going to the center I have to drop a jump spell right now and then now I'll reach some of the troops dropping more of the barbarians which I still have in my army camp so so yeah they are all going in going for the king and queen so I think I have to freeze up the inferno the king is, has gone in, going for the CC. I think I'll drop a rage spell for the queen to be raged up. And now we will just look at the king and queen. Hopefully they will be able to go in to take the town hall or something. And the queen is going down really quickly. King isn't too smart going for storages instead of going for town hall. So now just left the queen to take the town hall. King has gotten a little <laughs> smarter apparently. Going for the town hall now. Both of them working together getting the town hall. So now we have just level up to 297. Which is really good on this particular Batman base. So yeah, we will just let the heroes continue to rampage throughout the base. Hopefully can get a 2 star which I don't see that I could. As uh, the queen might go down by the damage of the Mota and the wizard tower. But we will see, if she starts to target the elixir storage, I think we can just end the raid. Okay, so there's a chance. Okay, so 49. So yes, this should be a 2 star raid. So okay, 2 star on this Batman base with full barbarians. Wow, that was really really <laughs> exhausting and mind boggling. Yep, so that's it for this uh, full batch, not batch, barbarians raid. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to do our second level up for today. After donating for 10 over hours, we have gotten to 57,994 EXP. Just need another 6 more EXP to get to level 298. So uh, I've prepared another interesting army combo. Uh, 240 ground troops again, goblins. And then uh, for our spells, I've changed it up a little bit. I've used uh, 2 free spells instead of 2 jumps. So we will proceed into getting into a raid. And hopefully we will be able to get the town hall with our king and queen. So okay, uh, this particular base uh, looks a bit difficult. But uh, looking at how we can handle this, the uh, king and queen uh, on the top, so not much of an issue. Um, I'm pretty sure the some of the giant bombs are around the motor. So I think what we can do is try to check the 
CC first, see whether got any troops inside. So it looks like there ain't any troops. You can use the goblins to try to break the wall. So now I'll just anyhow deploy some goblins to try to distract the mortar first. And then of course I'll break through the wall using a one whole group of uh, goblins. I'll try to conserve my goblins. Oh great, now the mortar has targeted over there. So um, the goblins only target resources. So uh, we will have to slowly deploy them. Deploy them in a strategically manner. Not deploying all at once, otherwise uh, the giant bomb will probably kill them. So uh, yeah, there's a giant bomb over there, like what I mentioned. So we will drop a jump spell over here, so that our king and queen will go in. Dropping more goblins to try to go inside and just tank a bit of the damage. Looking at my king and queen's HP, using uh, the ability of my king, dropping a rage spell so that they rage up. I think now I will probably use a free spell to freeze up one, one of the inferno. So I can see that there's some skeletons over there, so we will take out the skeletons with a lightning spell. Now the queen has targeted the down hole, cloaking her, getting to 298. So yeah, that's really good using goblin sunni. Um, yeah, and of course my king and queen, otherwise the town hall will not go down. So yeah, that's it for this uh, raid. So that's really good. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys might be wondering how did I level up 2 times today. The answer is very simple, which is I started off at level 296 with 38,000 EXP and I just needed a total of 77,000 EXP to get to where I am. So as for my last two levels, I've already thought of what to do. I won't be showing you guys any mass single troop raid anymore, as uh, I think I've already showed many. And I will show something more interesting and also for my final last level, I've already have something planned out. So I'd like you guys to stay tuned for it and do check it out. And with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on.